What are you doing, lovely? Well, I'm drinking a cup of tea. Yes. While lamenting about the death and destruction of uh, our exotic plants due to the extended cold period and freezing temperatures for a very long time in our exotic garden. Oh, cheerful day then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So what do you think of these echiums? Um, you can't see any, can you? Do you know why? Because they completely rotted and I had to dig them up and throw them away. No! <laughs> and look at these other ones. And these are ones that I haven't dug out. Look at the state of them. Now, if you saw if you, if you saw an early video, these, I took the covering off and they were still alive and I pulled off the um, few caterpillars that I want to eat in it. And it got more mild. There was another cold snap and look at it. Absolutely. So again, it's dead. It's dead. These got to come out. That's it. That's them done now. So no giant echiums this year because nothing survived. Have we not got them. any? No, they're all gone. All gone. Oh, honey. Every single one of them. And and they're protected. So so I'm very disappointed. And I'm hoping that we will get seedlings come through. Yes. Um, wait for that car. Seedlings come through. And we'll repot those on a share to take. Uh, seedlings of um, echiums in another video when we actually have some. Of yeah. Uh, they're very easy to do, but yeah, yeah. look at it, absolutely dead, ruined. Take them up, throw them away. Let's go to the back garden again. Oh. Right now, this one, this is this is entirely my fault. I, I did this. I, I, I put this out because I thought it would look nice over the summer, and I forgot to bring it back in again. See, I think it's an old gasteria. Um, I'm oh, not sure. That's so mushy. If I can remember, if that's the wrong name, I'll, I'll put that up on the screen for you. But oh, honey. They completely died. And in this one, which is supposed to be hardy, you see it in the tree? Oh. That's, that's dead. Again, and we covered it. It just got way, way too cold. And, um, uh, echi what's it called? It's not echino cactus. Uh, no, that's, that's a barrel cactus. Um, I don't know why, some, some plant names just gave me today, but um, yeah, completely. There's another one done. And in fact, we had a lot of stuff in the greenhouse. And uh, even though it's protected in the greenhouse, and I put protection on the plants in the greenhouse, it, we just had some very, very cold nights. When I first moved down to this area, the first year I had, it didn't even get to freezing temperatures. And then this past year, we were looking at minus seven, minus eight for extended periods, and coming back and being frozen again. And uh, we lost a lot of stuff in the greenhouse. And um, yeah, well, it's dead, it's dead. What else are you gonna do? Quite nice. And look, this, these are known to be tough. This is a formium for crying out loud. Oh, why formium? Look at, formium. Look at formium. what's going on. It's protected under the tree. That looks proper dead, look. doesn't it? Look at that. I think it's deaded. I'm hoping that maybe uh, there is some life to come I out of it. I don't know, I think you'll be optimistic uh, there. I want to see formians. I leave you in charge of plants and this is what happens. If we live on the south coast, it's supposed to be mild. Uh, um, so there you go. I think uh, really there might be a couple other things we've had damaged, but to be honest with you, we still haven't had, um, we've still got to wait for new stuff to come through to see if this even yeah. survived. There's still a lot of bulbs, tubes yeah. in the ground. Uh, so we won't know yet, but even so, it's been, it's been it's the been worst. exceptionally cold, hasn't it? It's been the worst cold season that I've had down here, and that's been in a t in ten years period. So yeah. I'm hoping a lot of the stuff underground was protected enough because we have got bark chip, yep, uh, which gives yep. it some protection there. It does so I'm give it some. That would be alright. But on the whole, it's it's been quite a, it's been the, the, quite a bad year. And like I say, the worst year we've ever had. But hopefully, hopefully in, in about four to six weeks, the weather will warm up. Everything that's under the ground should start to sprout through. I'm starting to see some signs like the canna lily starting to show. Um, but there's very little else, even though we're, we're pretty much into March. But um, what we'll do once things start to grow, first day of spring, I think I'll do a video on the first day of spring to see where we are on that. But uh, there you go, I'm, <laughs> I'm not very happy. It means you've got to replace a lot of stuff. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.